Hello everyone, I am Ezekiel Bruni, and I'm here to talk about VPNs, and Windows 11, and which VPNs run best on Windows 11. Honestly, most VPNs should work on Windows 11 out of the box, even though it is new. But these are the ones that we can guarantee are A, awesome, and B, run flawlessly on Windows 11 without any problems whatsoever. Just install and go, you'll be fine. Before we get into that, before I show you the VPNs, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel if you found it useful and helpful. And of course, hit the notification bell icon to keep up with all of our tips, tricks, tutorials, reviews, everything. Also, check out the links in the description because all the uh, VPNs I talk about in this video will have a links there to the full reviews with all the tests we've ran, all of the streaming services we've tried unlocking, all of that good stuff. So first up is good old ExpressVPN, one of our all-time favorites. We like it because it's fast, its uh, network is solid, and it has 94 countries you can choose from in terms of servers. That means you always have a f server nearby which can help you with faster speeds. I live in Mexico City, I like to connect to Dallas when I want to connect to the US, for example. Speaking of speed, let's run a speed test real quick. 52 millisecond ping, that's not bad at all. I have 115 megabits per second maximum speed. And so, wow, it's using... Okay, this doesn't always happen, but uh, it's using almost all of it. Or it's using more than the guaranteed 115 megabits per second that I have. I have 10 megabits of upload speed. It is approaching that and slowing down around 9. That is more normal, to be perfectly honest. All right, so as you can see, the network speeds are fast. You won't lose a lot of um, general in browsing speed or video streaming speed uh, using this particular VPN. And now the streaming tests. If you're traveling abroad and you're, you know, you want to watch your shows from home, why should you have to miss them? Well, ExpressVPN is actually built for streaming. It has its own uh, protocol. That's um, the lightweight protocol. It's open source and it is designed to balance security and fast uh, media streaming capabilities. As you saw right there, it works just fine on Netflix. Let's uh, give it a hit on Disney Plus now. Say DuckTales, the original, because DuckTales is awesome. And that's Disney Plus working flawlessly, which is something because Disney Plus is actually notoriously hard to unlock. For any VPN service. Sometimes you'll have to choose different servers to make sure it works. A couple of other features that ExpressVPN has. It has the Media Streamer DNS service that makes it possible for you to stream stuff from other countries uh, when you're on a less advanced ad device that can't run the full VPN client. Um, so some smart TVs, some routers, uh, some game consoles. Although uh, some routers can actually run ExpressVPN software and uh, it is compatible with all sorts of smart TVs and Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, all of that good stuff. There are even browser extensions so you can control ExpressVPN from your browser. ExpressVPN has a no logs policy so they're not tracking what you're doing. It has split tunneling which is great if you want to play a, you know, a video game and connect to the US servers for the video game but have your local Netflix running on another screen for example. Uh, it has a kill switch which will automatically turn off the internet uh, entirely if your VPN uh, disconnects so that you don't leak any data. And it has a 30-day money-back guarantee and some pretty great prices. The best sort of price-to-feature ratio that we found in the business. It's, um, we like it. Straight up. But of course, there are more VPNs that work great on Windows 11 and we're going to show them all. For example, here's CyberGhost. CyberGhost is pretty simple one as well, pretty awesome, but it has some extra features that ExpressVPN doesn't, even though ExpressVPN is our favorite, to be on, uh, perfectly honest. Let's see, it has a pretty solid network of 91 countries that you can choose from. It also has a dedicated IP feature that costs extra, but you can get it, you know? It has dedicated gaming servers, and dedicated torrenting servers, and dedicated streaming servers in several countries optimized for different streaming platforms. Now, honestly, 
I prefer to just use the regular servers, you know, the ones that are close to me, because, you know, the closest one to me here in the U.S. is... I'm not sure, honestly. It doesn't say specifically where in the U.S. it is. <laughs> I usually just connect to Dallas. And there we go, we're connected. So let's run another speed test real quick. As you can see, the servers for CyberGhost are pretty fast. Well, as you will see in a second. 44 millisecond ping, do love that. Re quickly ramping up to my max megabits per second. And that is looking good. That is looking good. Upload speed should also be similarly pretty great. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, like uh, ExpressVPN, it has a no log. Uh, CyberGhost has a no logs policy, and also has a uh, set of uh, servers in Romania. They call their no spy servers. No spy servers because literally nobody's spying on them. Romania is not part of any big massive surveillance agreements. So, uh, you know, you can, uh, if you connect to the no spy service specifically, you can be sure that you're not being tracked in any way, shape, or form. Let's show you some streaming tests. And here we are with, let's see, Ultraman. And boom, working flawlessly. There we go, it's working. Remember when I said Disney Plus is notoriously hard to unlock? Yeah. I just had to switch servers though. I switched the LA server and all was well. CyberGhost worked pretty flawlessly. So CyberGhost has a couple of other cool things, including a full security suite, a uh, pretty heavy focus on business customers as well. Um, so you can buy business plans via for CyberGhost. You can also get, if you pay extra, a full antivirus suite and general security suite for your, your machines. Another great thing is that CyberGhost has a 45 day money back guarantee, which is better than the industry standard by a whole 15 days and is one of the cheaper options in general as far as the base uh, VP uh, VPN package goes. Well, we've got one more to show you. One more VPN on the docket. This, I confess, is a personal favorite of mine. I actually have come to really like uh, private internet access. I use it for some of my work stuff. It's got a pretty solid network, all things considered. Some 84 countries to choose from. And you can see, you know, the, the ping for all of them there. And you just hit it and go. They don't have a Dallas server, so I my go-to is the Houston. And I am connected. Okay, I don't know why, but Speed Test decided to sort of crap out on me. So I have moved over to Fast.com, which is provided by Netflix, and has a comparatively good Speed Test service. I'm averaging around 82 to 90 megabits per second. Oh, there we go, back up to 100, 110. That's the good stuff. Uh, if, uh, fast.com will run a quick uh, upload speed test in a bit as well. Or at least it should. There we go, show more info. And there's the upload test going on as well. Yeah, hitting that, ooh, basically nearly hitting that 10 megabits per second limit of mine. As you can see, uh, private internet access has a nice and fast network. It is working just fine. Although I don't know why speedtest.net gave out on me like that. And now here, we're going to run a quick Netflix test. There we go, working just fine. And let's hit up Darkwing Duck because I love me some Darkwing Duck. Working just flawlessly. So private internet access is actually pretty good for streaming as well. Like the other options, it has a no logs policy. It has, uh, like CyberGhost, it has an option for buying a dedicated IP address if you need that. I use it for work personally. It also has a kill switch, its own smart DNS streaming service for uh, non-PC devices. It is available on Mac, iOS, Android, Linux, Windows, all of that good stuff but as you can see, works perfectly flawlessly on Windows 11, has split tunneling and completely open source code, as in the client itself is open source. Love that. 30-day mm. money-back guarantee, and it's the cheapest VPN on this list, which is saying something because all of them are reasonably priced, but this one's got nice, cheap prices. Now, which one should you pick? We generally recommend ExpressVPN for the vast majority of consumers, unless you need one of the specific features like the dedicated streaming or gaming servers from CyberGhost, 
or uh, you know, a cheap VPN with a dedicated IP address like private internet access can provide, we generally recommend just going with ExpressVPN because it's built for streaming, has the biggest network, and has a whole ton of features, and is available on the largest number of platforms. Of course, you shouldn't just take my word for it. You should look at the links down in the description for, again, the full reviews for of all of these VPNs with all of the tests we ran so you can get all the data for yourself. And be sure to check out the coupon page linked below as well because, you know, you can get good deals on these VPNs and just about every major VPN. Which, if you're going to uh, pay for a year or three years in advance, you know, it can add up to a lot of cash off, you know, it's good stuff. And if you found this video, video useful and helpful, if, you, if it helped you to make your purchasing decisions, please do consider liking, subscribing, again, hitting the bell notification icon, share it with your friends. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun watching this video. I had fun making it. This is Ezekiel Bruni, signing out.